timekeepers, I made you a solemn vow that after five months of the flower shop summer in Fairbrook that I would make it with Susanna. And I made grave errors. Just grave errors. I did not know that these four women are tied together in their own special way, and you need to devote time to all four of them in order to unlock the one you want. My entire Let's Play series has been a lie. But no more! Now, you are going to witness possibly the greatest nick of time, time warp imaginable, as we go back through this entire game in one video. All to get to my bay. This is for you, Susanna. You know, I never really got the look of this city. I mean, is it Los Angeles? Is that what Los Angeles looks like? I mean, how would I know? I've never been to Los Angeles. I've always wanted to go to Los Angeles. But you know, what am I going to do about it? I can't do anything about it. Dear God, there's a lot of arm crossing in this game. Why do you put your hand under your chin like that? What was the point of it? What was the point of any of it? Ah, uh, yes, the original introduction of the sad music. How nostalgic. Dear God, why is Dad still so hot? Giving up already? No. I'll never give up on Susanna. Look at it. It's like... It's like... It's like... The trip down memory lane. Man, my back is killing me. Oh, you think it's bad now, Steve? Just wait. You know, our first time going down this hallway of trees. Oh, hey, Clara, yeah. Yeah, I forgot you were mad at me when we first met. There it is. The home of Bay. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ah! It's all right, Susanna. Just a little bit longer. Just stay with me a little bit longer. Okay, from what I've been able to tell from my research, Marion and Susanna are tied together, so I really need to get in good with Marion coming up on the end of it. Which kind of made sense since it was Marion that calmed Susanna down in the first place. Finally, got to the week planning part. Lovely love, I can't get enough of all the la 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 and cuddles. Lovely love. Oh boy, new guy, who the heck are you? She's not here. I spin around and come face to face with a British guy who looks like he's not much older than me. Uh, hi? Who are you? Jacob, I work here. And you are? Oh, that's Jacob. Okay. Jacob, that's the guy who likes Clara, right? Looks like an okay dude to me. I'm sorry, Jacob, I gotta go. Gotta keep going. Ah, uh, yes, the cock block. Oh, now I gotta sort through Clara's daddy issues? Yes, 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 the presentation didn't go well. I remember this part. I gotta go! Oh, dear God, my hand is cramping up. God, Susanna, what are you doing outside my farm, bay? What, what's going on here? Susanna, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, I don't have time. Susanna dashes down the driveway and leaves into the truck. It quickly pulls out and I see Uncle at the wheel. What's going on? La 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 love that stuff. Find that special one. Find you la la forget your troubles. Whoa, now Marion asked me to get food. Now I'm back at Susanna's shop. I nearly collide with Trent. Whoa, Steve! He eyes me curiously. Where are you headed in such a hurry? Oh, I was just going to buy some sandwiches from Susanna. Sandwiches? Made out of what? Invisible food? This is a flower shop, kiddo. I don't know. Marion just said to come here. Marion? That hot librarian across town, you mean? Um, I guess. Oh, you cockblock. Trent, are you harassing Steve again? Of course not, Susie. Just talking with him. Trent throws an arm over my shoulder in an attempt to fake friendliness. Hey, Steve, did I hear you say Marion wanted something? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, she said to ask for two olive taponotic tap tape nade tape nade sandwiches. I hand her the money that Marion gave me. Susanna counts it in size. Overpaying me as always. Marion is much too kind. Whoa, since when was this place a deli? Marion is a good friend of mine. I told her I'd make her lunch whenever she asked. Man, sis, you're the one who's too kind. It's called being kind to your neighbors. Wait there, Steve, I'll be back in a few minutes. Trent and I stand in awkward silence for a moment before he locks me into a headlock? I see what you're up to, you little punk. Oh boy, I don't know if going back in time led to a good moment with Trent. What are you talking about? That Marion is a fine piece of work. You into her or what? I... What? No offense, man, but she's definitely too old for you. She could be your mother or something. Unless you're one of those weird guys who's into older women. He releases me and inspects me carefully. Well, are you? 
Say Marion is just a good friend. I mean, yeah, she is, because my bae is Susanna. Um, Marion is just a really good friend, okay? I don't know what you're thinking, but you've got it all wrong. Besides, you're the one who called her the hot librarian. Are you sure you're not the weird one? Yeah, well, when I said it, that was different. Trant, no harassing! Susanna's voice echoes faintly from inside the flower shop. No problem, Susie! He calls back to her, a pained expression on his face. Good. I'm gonna cut you a break this time, but you won't get so lucky next time. Cut me a break? what I even do to deserve this treatment? And by the way, you still can't touch my sister. That's what you think! Lovely love, I can't get enough Of the la 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 and Oh boy, a new scene! Steve, I really am grateful for all the help. Trent was supposed to help me this summer, but he's busy now, so... Don't mention it. We're all here to support each other, right? I'm just doing what I can. You're so sweet. <laughs> but I'd like to be able to thank you... properly. Oh boy. Thank me? Of course. This is a flower shop, after all, so I'd like to give you some flowers. Wait. What kind of flower? It's okay, you don't have to. Flowers are the proper way to thank someone, no? I suppose so. Never really thought about it, though. You don't give flowers to people? <laughs> no. Steve, flowers are a beautiful and thoughtful gift to give. Oh boy, Bay's angry again. And we haven't even gotten to the Bay angry part. I'm going to show you just how powerful they are. Wait, what? I'll make a beautiful flower arrangement for you and you can decide who to give it to. Oh boy, whoa, this is a new dynamic. No arguing, just tell me who you'd like to give flowers to. Wow, I hadn't, I hadn't really thought about this before, I guess. Uh, come on. It's always going to be Bay. Well, truthfully, I wish I could give them to you. Me? I guess it's kind of weird giving flowers to the person who grows them, but... Well, you've been really nice to me and really generous, too, so I'd like to thank you. Oh, Steve, you, you don't have to thank me. I, I do it because I want to. Yes! The blushy face. And I want to thank you, so let me do it because I want to. Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh, you can't mess with the time warp! I can't argue with that. You really are very sweet, you know. It would be a little strange to arrange flowers for myself, though. Would you like to do it? Me? I wouldn't even know where to begin. She laughs and pulls a slim vase from a nearby shelf. Then shall I teach you? Oh, yes. We go to the greenhouse and Susanna teaches me what various flowers mean and which ones complement others. In the end, I finally settle on a collection of deep blue irises that I arrange carefully in the vase. They look a little sad sitting on their own, but I don't really have any idea of what else to do with them. How's this? It's lovely, Steve. Thank you very much. I'm glad you like it, although I don't think it looks that great. It's the thought that counts. Good, because the arrangement sure isn't worth much. She laughs and gives me a gentle pat on the shoulder. Don't degrade yourself so much. I think it's wonderful. Was there anything you wanted to buy? <laughs> As I approach the flower shop, I notice that Susanna has put my pitiful flower arrangement in the window. It looks so out of place among all the other arrangements. As I open the door, a heavy hand shoots out from the doorway. Steve? Cockblock? It looks like Trent's been waiting for me. <laughs> hey there, Trent. He pulls me towards him and leans down to glare at me. Interesting flowers you've got there. Oh, you mean those? I nod nervously at the irises in the window. What are you doing to my little Susie? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm not doing anything, and she's not your little Susie anyway. What? Trent's grip on my shoulder tightens. Susanna's 
old enough to make her own decisions, you know? You can't baby her forever. I'm not babying her. Then what's this about her being your little Susie? He frowns, but doesn't say anything. Don't you trust your sister? I trust her. Obviously you don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be overprotective like this. Trent is silent for a long time. It looks like he wants to punch me, but instead he turns around and walks out. Before he shuts the door of the flower shop, I hear him mutter under his breath. Good job on the irises. Steve! I didn't expect to see you today! Oh yeah, I just wanted to say hi. I see. Was there anything you wanted to brat? No. Okay, finally, week three. This was the point where my research told me to pay attention. God, even my wrist is locking up now with all that clicking. So, they said starting with week three, I need to spend at least one of these weeks, three out of these four days, talking with Marion, the other half of this equation with my bae, Susanna. So here we go. Don't go in there. All right, Bay is angry scene. We have returned. Marion, please save me. Aw, oh, my sad little flower. All right, this is gonna be the hand-holding scene. For lunch today, Uncle made a huge stack of pancakes loaded with blueberries. I'm amazed by the simple ingenuity of it all. Pancakes for lunch. Brilliant! Eat up, Steve. You're still a growing boy. <laughs> yes, sir. I held myself to a few and dig in voraciously. Ever since I came here, my appetite has increased. Delicious as usual, Uncle. I'm glad you think so. So do you have any special plans for this afternoon? Plans? She probably doesn't want me to tell you this, but today is Susanna's birthday. What? Oh, what? I don't have any presents. I'm, I'm, I'm not prepared. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, um, I... There's, there's nothing in these drawers. I, I don't know what to do. Uncle nods with a half smile playing around his lips. You wouldn't know it unless you asked her directly. I think she's embarrassed by it all. But every year she bakes a huge cake for everyone to enjoy. Baking a cake for your own birthday? Doesn't that sort of defeat the purpose? Not for her. She never says it, but she really does want people to celebrate. I think you should drop by and say hi to her. Oh, I'll do a lot more than that, Uncle. Sure thing, will do. And give me a piece of cake while you're at it. Boom! Ha ha! I see how it is. I'd be a fool not to eat her cooking. Orpheus yowls and swats a paw at me. Let me guess, you want some too? Another meow. Sure thing, girl. Man, you're demanding. I dash upstairs and peel off my work clothes. Most of my clothing is smudged with dirt and worn down from all the work I've been doing. But if this is for her birthday, I'd better wear something a little nicer. In the autumn light, the flower shop looks more vibrant than usual today. I step inside and take a moment to enjoy the familiar perfume of the flowers that linger in the air. Welcome back, Steve. Aw, oh, hello, Bay. Let me tell you, it has been a journey. A long time journey. <laughs> oh, look at us. Hey, Susanna. Are you feeling any better today? I am. Thank you for last time. It really means a lot to me. Ah, I baked a cake today. Would you like a piece? Of course. In fact, I approach her and give her a quick... Hug. Yes, do it. I just came over to say, Happy birthday. Uh, oh, thank you. Hey, Susie, I... Trent pokes his head in from the side door just in time to see me holding Susanna. Damn it! Cock block! Trent! His eyes move from me to her and back to me. Finally, he sighs and throws his hands up in the air. You know what? I'm just gonna get a piece of cake and be out of here. <laughs> Yes! Cock block defeated! There's nothing left to stop us. He turns and leaves without saying another word. Susanna and I stand beside each other in awkward silence for a moment before we burst out laughing. 
I thought he was going to kill me on the spot. I told you he'd warm up to you eventually. He really is a good brother. He is. But how did you know today was my birthday? Wait, let me guess. Sam told you? Hey, you can't blame him for wanting some cake, can you? I suppose not. What about you? Would you like some? Oh, yes, please. She slices off a large piece of cake from me and hands it to me on a plate. Pumpkin chai, made from local produce, of course. Pumpkin chai cake. That sounds delicious. I take a bite. Delicious, as usual. I make quick work of the slice before holding the plate out to her. Any chance I could get more? <laughs> well, of course. She dishes up another slice for me, but this time, I take my time enjoying it. You really are something, you know. What do you mean by that? I mean, look at this place. You do this all by yourself. And this, your food is incredible too. I I'm glad you like it. I was worried it wouldn't be any good. Wait, you mean you haven't tried it yet? I, I don't usually eat my own baking. What? Why not? Well, if it's meant for other people, then I shouldn't have any. Are you kidding? It's your birthday! I load my fork and hold it up to her mouth. Yes! Yes, 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 yes! Try some. Wh what It's your cake and it's your birthday. You should eat some. Are you sure? Of course. Tentatively, she takes a bite. See? It's good, right? It is. Don't sound so surprised. You're the one who made it. I suppose so. Hey, have a seat. Relax. I sit down in her windowsill and indicate that she should do the same. Here, have some more. I hold up another bite to her and she takes it happily. You really should try your own baking more often. It's incredible. Susanna leans her head against my shoulder and lets out a sigh! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! I never really thought about it before. You're such a strange girl sometimes. I get that a lot. <gasps> a change in music. Oh my god. Oh my god, is this it? Oh my god. Um. Autumn really is beautiful, isn't it? I follow her gaze, and realize she's staring out the window at the brilliant red and orange of the trees. I never really thought about it before, but yeah, it is. She shifts a little bit, readjusting her head on my shoulder. Her hair smells so sweet. From this close, I can see how smooth and shiny it is. Hesitantly, I reach up and gently touch a strand. That feels nice. Really? I move my hand up and stroke her hair gently. Against my calloused hands, her hair feels like spun silk. Slowly, I stroke her hair again. She smiles happily and lets out a contented sigh. I wouldn't mind staying like this for a while. Neither would I. It's beautiful, isn't it? Susanna nods at the sky. The sun is setting and the sky is a brilliant orange streaked with lines of purple on the horizon. Above it all, the sky is melting into a deep blue. It's been such a long time since I watched the sunset. I almost forgot how beautiful it was. I don't remember ever seeing such a beautiful sunset before. Well, everything is more beautiful when you're with someone you love. What? what what isn't it obvious? She giggles a bit before sitting up and looking me in the eyes. <gasps> oh my gosh, I need a I need a bag to breathe into. I can't. Oh my god. I love you, Steve. <gasps> yes. Yes. We did it. I only had to time warp back through the entire game, but we did it! Hang on. <clears throat> she slowly entwines her fingers around mine. For a moment, all I can feel is the warmth of her hand against mine, and the rest of my world freezes. 
I finally managed to find my voice again. I... I love you too. I brush the back of my hand against her cheek. It's soft and pale. Her clear green eyes shimmer at me like glass. Everything about her is so delicate and beautiful. Slowly, I lean in and press my lips against hers. Yes! 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 Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna... I... I'm, I, I'm a little misty-eyed right now. Oh, we did it. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, worth it. Worth every second. She closes her eyes and squeezes my hand tighter. I move my other hand around her and pull her closer until her body is against mine. In my head, I hear the pounding of my heart. The pounding grows louder and I'm louder until it's all that I can hear. Susanna feels so warm and fragile in my arms. I wish I could hold her like this forever. I wish that I could keep her safe in my arms forever. Our lips part slowly, hesitantly, as if we don't want to stop. She closes her eyes and leans against my chest before letting out a contented sigh. I run my fingers slowly through her golden curls. I love you. I love you too. As she rests in my arms, her breathing grows slower and steadier. Susanna? No response. I brush aside a strand of her hair to get a better look at her face. She's sleeping, peacefully. A serene smile on her face. <laughs> Sleep well, beautiful. The sun is set completely now. Carefully. I lift Susanna and carry her to her bed in the back room. I lay her down gently and kiss her on the forehead before whispering into her ear. I love you. As for me, I now work in Susanna's flower shop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for all the noises, timekeepers. With all of my father's connections, we've managed to increase business quite a bit, so things are always busy. Steve, it's time to close up. Okay. As I lock up the shop for the night, Susanna prepares some tea. Tonight, we'll share a pot of tea and watch the sunset like we always do. And as the evening grows cooler, I'll keep her warm in my arms. Tea's ready. Susanna pours out two cups and sits beside me in the windowsill, feeling the warmth of her body against mine as we watch the sky turn from pink to black. I know this is where I belong. Oh, ho, 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 yes! This was the ending I wanted. Oh. Now instead of crushing sadness, I feel only happiness. And with that, timekeepers, we can now conclude and make this the finale of Flower Shop Summer in Fairbrook. Oh, I loved this game, you guys. I loved sharing this journey with you. As a matter of fact, this is the first series on Nick of Time Gaming that we've actually been able to book in, that we've actually been able to have a finale for. So for the last five months, thank you guys so much for sticking with me through this series. And I highly encourage you to play this game for yourself, to support Winter Wolves, the developer. If my bay wasn't the bay you wanted, then play it for yourself and find your bay. That's what life is all about, right? Finding the love that you want. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. Because if you had a good time, take the time to tick the like button and subscribe. And until next time, do the best that you can with the time that you've been given. <laughs>